In the previous tutorial, we looked at how to convert an audio file into a serum wavetable. In this video, we're going to look at six more creative ways you can generate serum wavetables. So sticking with audio first, although it's advised to import a one-shot sample with a consistent pitch, this doesn't mean you can't try out other types of audio files. Try throwing in a long synth loop featuring sparse notes. Then scan through wavetable position to create animated rhythmic bursts. Another great way to create wavetable oscillators is by resampling serum internally. In serum's menu, select resample to oscillator A or B. Serum will render one bar of the entire synth's output, convert the signal into a wavetable, and load it up in the oscillator you selected. Next up, text-to-speech. Type one or more words into the formula parser, inside quote marks. And Serum will convert the speech into an 8-bit talking wavetable. If you want to tame this digital harshness, you can dive into the Wavetable Editor's menu options and smoothen out Tambra. Next up, LFO Drag. Alt drag from an LFO's top bar to an oscillator. And that LFO shape will be turned into a single cycle frame. From here, you can create a second frame in the Wavetable Editor. Go back and alt-drag a second LFO shape. Then go back to the Wavetable Editor and choose a Morph option to interpolate between the two and create a unique morphing wavetable. Another way you can create wavetables is using PNG files. Drag a PNG onto a serum oscillator and the synth will map the image's pixel luminance to amplitude. In other words, darker sections represent higher amplitude and white equates to minimum amplitude. Finally, for ultimate control, you can create a wavetable by drawing in shapes. Use the Wavetable Editor's various drawing tools to pencil in single cycle waveforms. Alternatively, if you want to dive into FFT synthesis, you can precisely draw in a waveform's harmonics and their relative phases via the top harmonic editor.